Welcome to Visuals Kingdom. I'm your host, Nick Metzger, and today we talk about awesome transitions. If you love the videos of Sam Calder, Jon Olsen, or Matt Como, you are already familiar with the most common transitions. And you probably have already wondered how you can create them yourself. Well, we think they are heavily overused, but sometimes they are still cool. Let's start with the zoom transition. To create this transition, you must import two similar clips into your composition. Then create the simple cut where the transition should happen and animate the scale value of the first clip from 100% to 150% within half a second, which equals to 12 frames. Then you need to animate the scale of the second clip from 75% to 100%. Now add the motion tile effect to the second clip and go to the in point of the clip. Adjust the motion tile output width and height to cover the whole frame. Then hit the mirror edges checkbox. Next select all the keyframes and go into the graph editor. And make sure you're in the speed graph. Now select your keyframes again and hit easy ease. Pull back the inner keyframes completely. To finish the effect adjust the outer ones up to about 90% so you get this sharp mountain like thing. Simply add motion blur and it's now perfect. Next, we got the swipe transition. <laughs> this one is actually pretty easy. Simply overlap your two clips over the course of one second. Add two position keyframes on the second clip and jump back to the first keyframe. Then you want to position the second clip proportionally on the x-axis as shown and parent the first clip to the second clip. Now it's motion tile time again. Move in between the keyframes and adjust the output width to cover the frame. Open the graph editor and adjust the keyframes again that they look like a mountain. Add motion blur and the transition is perfect. Now there's a transition which is actually very simple but has such a cool impact when you are changing locations. We call it the lens cover teleport and it's basically just a cut at the right time. To create it simply use a lens hood, put it on your lens and shoot a clip where you cover the lens and one where you uncover it and then take those two clips and put them together. Back to the office! The fourth one is the rotation switch. To create it you have to make a simple cut. Then move back 12 frames and create a rotation keyframe on the first clip at 0 degrees. Forward 12 frames and create a keyframe with a 60 degree rotation on the first clip and one with a minus 60 degree rotation on the second clip. Forward another 12 frames and create a 0 degree rotation keyframe for the second clip. Now it's motion tile time again. Adjust both clips width and height to cover the whole frame. Open the graph editor and easy ease the keyframes. Then create the mountain shape again and add motion blur. And you're done. The fifth and last one is actually one of my all time favorites because you can use it for so many different ideas. And it's called the mask transition. To create this transition, you need two different clips, and at one point, one has to have something covering the entire frame from top to bottom. That's where you want to create the mask. Position the second clip above the first so that the object is just about to cross the screen. Go forward until half the screen is covered by your object. That's where you want to draw your mask. Little pro tip, make sure the second clip is selected or you will hate yourself afterwards. Now create mask path keyframes and animate the mask that it aligns with your subject all the time. Simply feather your mask that it gets smoother and you're done. Now these are five of the most overused transitions that are sometimes still cool, but please don't use them too much. That's it for today's tutorial. I hope you learned something and if you did, subscribe to our channel and help us help more people. Bye.